Yeah, hi there. These comments are for Skystar. This is Michael, the founder, owner, and the materials writer for the seven step system to pass the TOEFL IBT. And uh, I'm giving you some comments right now at the uh, for your TOEFL independent speaking practice test 12. And this is one of the uh, actual practice tests that appeared uh, on the TOEFL IBT. And uh, other students have submitted uh, some of those uh, questions after they took the TOEFL. So the question here is, do you think children should be given cell phones? Uh, your speech is super organized. You have, uh, and let me go ahead and click on the rubric so I can go over it bit by bit and give you a basic feedback here. Uh, on this one, in terms of the actual topic statement, you start off with uh, studies. You talk about how having a cell phone or if children have cell phones, it'll affect their studies and also their behavior, right? So a very strong topic sentence. It was really, really good. Now, second of all, you, you restate the first point about study and you, you mention about how cell phones, if children have them, it can affect their studies because they're spending too much time on the phone, not enough time on studying. So your example there was very specific to support the general point that you were trying to argue. Then you made a transition and you got to your second point. You said, a, you say having cell phones also affect children's behavior, right? And then you explained that and gave details to do that. And even, now I don't know how you do this, but you even had time to, to, to uh, create a conclusion. So overall, I think uh, your topic development, uh, there were really no major pauses at all. It was very well organized, very well developed. I think you were really smart in limiting your discussion to two reasons and then you gave adequate supporting detail for those two reasons. Uh, language use, really almost no grammar or vocabulary errors at all. I mean in, in no way are you limited in terms of expressing your ideas by your grammar or your vocabulary and your delivery. Again, it's just very, very good pausing. Your tone was natural. Uh, you spoke fast enough and you paused at the right places. So it sounded very, very natural. You really don't have any problems with word stress. Your sentence rhythm was strong. I didn't notice uh, any recurring problems with any vowel or consonant sounds. Uh, if you do have any minor problems at all, they do not affect uh, your intelligibility at all. Uh, this, this actual practice test, I don't do this very much because the TOEFL is actually quite difficult, but your practice test score here, you have completely answered this question. It is very easy to understand what you're saying. It's four out of four. This is 30 out of 30. I don't know what to do. I, I don't, I, I, I'm trying to find reasons to give you a lower score, but I really can't. So uh, congratulations. Uh, I am very honored to have you as a student. Now, don't forget me. When you go and take the TOEFL test, tell me how you do. I'm going to be very, very happy and very excited to hear about your speaking score when you take the internet, when you take the uh, TOEFL IBT. You just want to remember to keep relaxed during the test stay organized like you're doing and keep that fast that natural sounding conversational English and you're going to do very very well Skystar